My name is Celestina Brunetti. I'm a chef and nutritionist. Welcome to Cooperative Extension's Kitchen. Today, I will be showing you how to make the brand muffin recipe from the Eating Smart, Being Active cookbook, developed for the FNEP program. This recipe makes 10 to 12 muffins, takes about 10 minutes to prepare, and about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. Today, we'll be using all-purpose white flour, which is good for any kind of baking. We also have whole wheat flour, which is higher in fiber, just a little bit though, because it can make a pastry tough. We're also going to be using bran flakes with raisins, which are an excellent source of fiber, and the raisins are gonna add a little bit of sweetness to this. We also have salt, baking soda, which is gonna act as a leavening agent to help rise the muffins, sugar to add a little bit of sweetness, as well as an egg, some vegetable oil, and some buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk at home, you can use one cup of whole milk and one tablespoon of lemon juice or white distilled vinegar. First, we're gonna prepare our muffin tins using pan spray and your muffin tin. You wanna coat each round so that the muffins don't stick while you're cooking. Set that off to the side and start preparing the dry ingredients. We're gonna add our white flour, whole wheat flour, salt, baking soda, and sugar. Using a spatula or a spoon, mix until all of the ingredients are well combined. Once the ingredients are all well combined in the bowl, we can add our brand cereal. Again, mix to combine. Once the mixture is well mixed, create a well in the center of the flour. Now that our dry ingredients are mixed, we can work on our wet ingredients. So add vegetable oil, buttermilk, and we're gonna crack one egg into the bowl. Using a whisk, or if you don't have a whisk at home, you can use a fork. Blend the ingredients until well incorporated. They should look like this, a pale yellow color. We can bring our dry mixture back to the center and add our wet mixture into the well we created earlier. Using the spatula, combine all of the ingredients thoroughly. You want the mixture to look like this when it's done. Well combined, but not over mixed. Using some pan spray, spray the inside of a scoop so that the mixture doesn't stick. You're gonna take your muffin tin and about a scoop full of the mixture. You wanna fill the muffin tin about two thirds of the way up. You wanna leave room in the muffin tins so that they can bake fully. I'm gonna continue with the rest of these. So this mixture makes about 10 full-size muffins. Now that our batter is in the muffin tins, we can place these in our preheated oven. I have it preheated to 425. They can bake for about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. Let's get baking. So it's been about 15 minutes and our muffins are actually done. They look beautiful in the oven. We're gonna take them out. Oh wow. Those are perfectly golden brown. And a way you can tell a muffin is done is when you push on the top as if it springs back up. These muffins are gonna be perfect. So we're gonna let them sit here in the muffin tin for about five minutes to cool, just so that we can handle them a little bit better and then move them onto our cooling rack. If you don't have a cooling rack at home, you can use a plate, but you do want the air to be able to come underneath to help cool it a little bit faster. So we've waited five minutes and now they're cool enough to touch. If you'd like, you can use a fork to do this to help scoop them out, but mine are gonna come out very easily. Look at that, perfect. And we're gonna put them all onto our cooling rack. So you can either serve them nice and warm like this, or you can let them cool fully, wrap them in plastic wrap or tin foil, and then put them in the freezer. If you do that, when you pull them out, you wanna make sure that you reheat them. So you can either defrost them in the refrigerator overnight and then grab them in the morning on the way to school, or you can put them in the microwave for about 15 seconds just so that the whole muffin gets nice and warmed through. So you know what time it is? It's time to try one. I'm gonna break off a little piece here. You can still kinda of see, ooh yeah, you can still kinda of see the steam coming out of the muffin. I just got a raisin. It was a nice little sweet hit, and the muffin itself is really soft, and you kind of get the whole wheat flavor, but it's not overpowering. These are delicious muffins for an easy breakfast on the go, or just a fun dessert. I'm Celestina Brunetti. Thank you for joining me today in Cooperative Extensions Kitchen.